That's uh, unprecedented. I've been given a thousand lectures in 45 countries in 25 years. I've never been, I've never been a feature of my own little featurette before. You're amazing. And I also want to say that I listened carefully to your, your membership club and you've really pre-digested and organized the video information in a way that we dream about. You know, I'm in that same 25 years, I've pulled together an enormous amount of materials and uh, there's just no way that we could have done what, what you did. I mean, uh, highlight reels by topic, highlight reels by speaker. Oh, I mean, it was, you must have uh, put a lot of time in there. And I think it's, it sounds like an, an amazing opportunity for people so that they don't have to sort through a lot of things. They can go right to what they're looking for. Thank you on behalf of all of us on that amazing resource. Well, everyone, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to correct something that was just said in the video that Ben did. Um, the, my most recent documentary is not Secret Ingredients. It's called Don't Let the Gene Out of the Bottle. How dare you, Ben, leave that out? That came out Monday. That's right. It came out this week. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to forgive you. It's 16 minutes. It's very simple. It's very simple to watch. It's free. It's online and it's designed to, as a global wake-up call, a global wake-up call to something that is enormous, amazing, urgent, existential, and demands our attention. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Um, I also wanna appreciate the, all the people that are here today listening in the comfort of your home. It would be great to again be live there at the conference. I have been at every single conference since the beginning. It's such a fun place to be, and I'm sorry I can't be with you in person. I am going to uh, share my screen and walk you through um, the PowerPoint presentation that I have just put together for this purpose. And here we go. So the name of the lecture is Safeguard the Global Microbiome from GMOs. If you've been paying attention in the last five years, you know microbiome is the buzzword. But you may not know about the need to safeguard it from GMOs 2.0 and why this is something that I would say is among the most serious and urgent actions we can take as humanity. And I'll explain why during this talk. I wanted to let you know where you can watch the movie, Don't Let the Gene Out of the Bottle. You can go to protectnaturenow.com. Uh, you can write that down now. You can click on it. But please do take note, protectnaturenow.com. Take a picture of the screen. This is going to be an important website to know about uh, by the time this, this lecture is over. And if you have to leave early, please go to Protect Nature Now, watch the 16-minute film, and as we'll talk about, participate in the advocacy platform because the two or three or four minutes that you spend there can save the world. Now, we all know about invasive species. These are rabbits in Australia. This is something everyone can relate to because rabbits multiply like rabbits, right? And the, there was 24 rabbits, there's more in this picture, 24 rabbits were released in Australia in 1859 to make visitors feel more comfortable so they can hunt rabbits. But there were no significant predators. And by the 1920s, there was over 10 billion rabbits. One well-meaning, compassionate, altruistic gesture to introduce rabbits into the countryside so that foreigners would feel more comfortable, decimated the countryside, cost Australia still over $600 million a year and changed the nature of nature. That was one invasive species. Now we have the possibility to permanently alter and corrupt the gene pool of virtually every species. In the last 25 years, there's been 12 genetically modified food crops. 
In the next 25 years, because of gene editing, we have the capacity to make that number hundreds of thousands or millions, especially when we talk about the microbes. Genetically engineered crops, organisms, microbes persist and propagate in the environment and can change once they're released. This is the first part of the recipe for disaster. GMOs can self-propagate and are permanent. There's no recall. The second is that the most common result of GMOs is surprise side effects, including the new poster child of genetic engineering, gene editing, causing massive collateral damage in the genome and the organism. So you have a GMO released permanently in the environment that can create side effects. 